All right, so a while back I had a video on this uh, Toolkit RC M7 charger and this little DIY hack I put together for uh, my road trip, uh, this little cigarette lighter adapter and a hack together and XD60 connector so I could use this in my car while I'm driving around. I could charge up my small lipos. And uh, this worked out really well in the car. However, you know, and as you guys know, I like these sort of um, multi-purpose lightweight solutions for stuff. I don't like carrying a lot of stuff around with uh, when I go out and fly and especially on uh, going on road trips and stuff like that. So while this worked out really well in the car, when I wanted to uh, charge up my batteries in the hotel, I had to obviously go to AC because this ain't going to work in the hotel. So ended up dragging along my 160 watt power adapter, which is basically got an AC plug and then an XD60 um, to power this up so I can charge up my LiPos in the hotel. And this is uh, pretty bulky and heavy and takes up space to carry it around. And I found a better solution for this and actually it's more it's kind of more of a recent solution because I've always been looking for you know lighter uh, solutions that aren't going to take up so much space and this new cable from Toolkit RC it's called the SC100 is a USB-C to an XD60 adapter and you can see here the uh, voltage range 5 to 20 volts 5 amps 5 amps max it does use these USB-C protocols, power delivery 2, 3, and quick charge 2.0. And, you know, nothing too fancy about the cable. It is power delivery compatible, so there's a chip or something inside here to adjust the voltage for the XD60 connector on the charger. And I already happen to have one of these USB-C power adapters, so you can see how much smaller this is compared to this and this is actually my laptop charger so uh, when I'm on the road I carry around uh, well my laptop can charge via USB-C so it comes with a USB-C cable like this and I just plug this in here this is a 65 watt charger so it's, it's enough for most uh, smaller to medium range laptops not nothing like gigantic like a 17 inch uh, you, you know you probably want a bigger charger like a 100 watt charger. So these 65 watt chargers are fine for that situation. And this works great for this charger, which actually goes up to 200 watts. But you know, if I'm just charging small batteries, you're going to be you're going to be good to go. Now, if you're charging up giant 6s batteries, you, the solution here that I'm talking about in this video is not for you. You're going to just have basically you just got to carry around all that heavy gear. Uh, your battery, you know, if you're carrying around a bunch of six, giant 6S batteries, uh, the extra weight's probably not going to matter too much for you because you're carrying around a lot of gear anyway. So yeah, this video is probably not relevant for you, for you guys, but for you guys that are charging mostly smaller lipos, flying micros, you know, four inch or less, and they don't want to carry a lot of stuff around, this is going to be great for you. So yeah, I just uh, picked up this one a while back. I had this for my uh, for my laptop anyway, and then this new cable came out from Toolkit RC. And this works out really well. And I got a nice little foldable plug here. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how this all works. Just plug this in here, like so. And then we'll just plug the XT60 into the charger. And then we just plug this into the wall. And everything should power up. And you can see here, it's already detected that it's at 20 volts. That's the input, that's the input voltage, and it's using power delivery. So it's already adjusted to the basically uh, the max voltage of the charger. This cable has uh, detected what that what it should do, and that's what you, which, that's pretty much what you want is the max voltage. Um, while it can go lower voltage and higher amperage, uh, it'll, the, I think the charger will adjust that for different batteries. Obviously, the if you go with giant 6s batteries that are going to be charging above, um, you know, 20 volts, the amount of amps that you're going to need is going to be pretty significant. And you're, again, you're limited to 65 watts. So, 
you know, again, this is not a solution for those huge batteries. So like smaller, you know, micro batteries, um, I would say 4S, 1000 milliamp hours or less, this is gonna be working out really well. So that's gonna mostly cover your four inch type of micros, or you're gonna be charging your bigger batteries at a slower C rating. You know, so if you're looking for this to charge things really fast, you're just gonna to need to carry around your giant chargers with you and that extra weight. This is just mostly for, uh, if you're looking for a solution where you're looking to carry around less stuff, less weight, with the, the, the you know with the caveat that you know that this is for smaller batteries or charging larger batteries at a slower rate. That's what your limitations are with this smaller setup here. Anyway, the um, links to all this stuff is going to be down in the description. If you're looking sort of uh, for a lightweight you know kind of travel setup, you know this for the car. I'll link that video in the description. You know this little charger is great for travel, lightweight. Now, I'll link that in the description as well, as well as the, the cable. And this charger is, I think, like around $20, $25 for the 65 watt. If you go for a bigger charger around 100 watts, you know, those uh, run about $50 to $60. And, but they are going to be a little bigger if you want the bigger 100 watt rated charger. So I'll link all that stuff down in the video description. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.